Okay, I think I know what one of the issues is. I'm looking too much for like one particular minion. I should just play the shop. Play the shop, play the curve. And not focus on synergies too much. When the synergies come, perfect, but don't force them. Like last game, I was I was thinking too much on 5, hoping I get Urzul. And I didn't get it. And then I died. Maybe if I would've went to 6, I would've had like a better placement. I should take out of my brain the synergies. I'm playing like a TFT player just wanting the triples. But I feel like Battlegrounds changed this season. I think you just play for tempo until you play until you see a strong line. And I did play for tempo. And then I just wanted the Urzul really badly. Ah, oh, difficult. Rob game, man. Do you drink your coffee black? Uh, usually, yes. Right now, yes. I, I need to wake up. I need something to wake me up. I need like a strong coffee. I don't want no bullshit milk in it. The minion pool is too big is the one thing I dislike about the meta. Yeah, I fucking hate it as well. Like, you literally cannot go for a coherent strategy. You're at uh, the mercy of the rolls. I felt like Battlegrounds was pretty nice because you could formulate a strategy. You need to play more creatively. You cannot start a game and go, I'll go Magma Lock. Because you could have like zero Magma Locks offered to you. This will be a transformative experience. Let's go to free. A coin for my favorite customer. But I don't put enough coffee because I'm drinking an espresso out of it. So it's up until here. It's not like full. If I would drink an Americano, it would be like that. The thrills and yeah, it's not Narnia. Sorry. There's nothing else like it. That's a strong way to play Overseer. Does anyone know of an add-on or Twitch extension that does speech to text transcription? I don't know of anything like that, but that would be pretty cool. To add subtitles. Do you think it could translate my English in real time? I don't know if my English is good enough. Where'd you get the green Hearthstone stuff behind you? I killed Illidan in hand-to-hand -hand battle to get it. No, Blizzard sent it to streamers when they released Demon Hunter as a class. I did not kill Illidan. The best tempo play is to hero power and then double buy. And then just level aggressively. I can go double Leech Doctor. But with what? I'm playing the Parrot for the stats and like for a maybe future effect. I wanna get Warden of Old so I can farm it. Did you ever have to explain the Kek W painting to anybody? Uh, to my girlfriend when, when I first wanted to buy it. I told her it's art. Ooh, we hit a warden. Yeah, I know art is not the best way to look at it. It's more than art. <laughs> Nastian, thank you for the sub. Do we take this straight to six? Is that the least way? I still kind of like Overseer first. I feel like Bran could be potentially powerful with two triples. We're gonna get our attacks, don't worry. I watched the like a full VOD of XQN on fast forward and I didn't see him play Leapers once. In the name of magic, He's I just leveling aggressively and then like buying minions. And I think what I'm doing badly is like I'm getting too emotionally attached to like a strategy and I want to like continue it and then sometimes you should just give up on a strategy that is not working. Like last game with playing a million elementals, and then I was looking for Urzul, looking for Urzul, couldn't find it. I should have just been like, fuck Urzul, we do our own thing.
Ball of Minions is better than Katze. You're right. There are other fish in the sea. And next time we can just sell it and keep up all our own six, I guess. So I like the minions in the meta game. I like the strategies. I hate how it feels to lose in this meta. It really leaves you with like a sour taste in your mouth. I don't like to lose baby rage. It's not what I, what I meant and you know it. Like, there's multiple ways a loss can feel. I like it when a loss feels like justified. I don't like when I take 30 damage after a good play out of nowhere and then just get 7th place on a game that would have been first. Another victory. It seems magic is on is that side. weird? People first. Greta, it's a Naga lobby though. Golden the booms. <laughs> a coin for my favorite customer. We're big fish now. Double Greta. Nah. I think Orgozoa is better to generate some value. More balls. Yeah, we don't need to play the ball. I want to get um, Orgozoa. Oh, Orgozoa, I mean uh, Atisa. And to answer a question in chat, are you able to Greta another Greta? No. So, no matter wh what Greta you play, she gives you a spellcraft, and the spellcraft uh, spell says you can use this on non Greta minions. Or something like that. You get what I mean? Fuck, the guy just got the best beast out of gas coiler possible. And we're gonna lose because of that. Great. Wait, can we tie? We can tie with this going here. Black. To your point, Bobby had a very shitty game with Tess two days ago and transitioned to turn 11 to Pirates. Yeah, yeah, I know transitions in peoples are possible. Not that easy though, but definitely possible. What the fuck is this? That one is not bad on its own. But it's not great either. Double summoner? Or is that not the way? That's probably not the way. Atisa. We found the lady. I had to switch my stats somehow. You don't get the effect when you play the golden spellcraft on Atisa. Feels a little bit weird. It makes sense, but it doesn't make full sense. Problem is I need to cut the demon now and go full Naga. Orgozo is weird. Greta can get buffed by Atisa, that's okay. But like the the pivot is not gonna be so clean. Why not keep the bird? Because what the fuck do I do with the bird? Second Atisa is great. But now we have to make like a big uh, cut. A gift for Ashara. A gift for Ashara. Okay.
I can cut the doctor, I can cut the overseer. She sells seashells. Perfect for Garbrasov. Triple ahead. <laughs> that should kelp your team out. Hell that too late. Mecha Jaraxxus is just income. I like glow skill though. I think we have to cut over here. Who takes divine? Probably this. Yeah. This is kind of how you want to play. We had to get rid of a 30-30, but I think it's better long term. Greta really enables Atisa. It's so good to get her. Yeah, I taunted the Warden because I wanted to win Fury Atisa and go pom pom. But both were good targets, I would say. I don't think double Lira is enough to beat me here. He's not my best minions, and I still don't think it's enough. For the guardians of Azeroth. I don't think we want Puffer Quill. We just want stats. We just want dumb empty stats. One glow scale is enough. I think double orgo is more economy. So let's actually cycle the glow scale. Right. There are other fish in the sea. I'll win for it is. Dude, the economy is crazy. Yeah, Greta is really making this work. Fog. Nobody misses Tony. True, I like Greta. I think Greta is more interesting than Tony. Is going Again, I freaking love the dual tribe minions. The only thing is they dilute the pool, so you have to play the game differently. So I was hoping they would remove some more neutrals when dual tribes are present. To keep the pool at like about the same as it previously was. Bomb. Poor guy cannot believe what's happening. Another victory. It seems magic is on my side. Money, money, money. I want to buy Patient Scout because it can either give me a Naga or some Bacon Luxor. Or Geomancer. All of those are good forms of income. I don't think Jaraxxus is worth it. Fish in the sea. Warms with my soul. 
Why not get the poisonous Naga Boar? Because it doesn't do anything. It just takes out resources, doesn't give me resources. And I didn't miss stats. Like, if I play with uh, Shoal on the board, I'm actually gonna like lose stats, right? Because I can lose permanent stats from the stats going on Shoal. Do you think tripling glow skill should give you two divine shields? No. I think that would be too OP. Glow skill is very powerful and one of the most powerful Naga minions. I don't think it should be even stronger. Another victory. It seems magic is on my side. I actually think Shell Collector is better than Shell Commander when you have triple Atisa and another Atisa. Even the Bacon is better than like a normal Naga. Leroy or Queen could be minions to end on, but I like economy. If we're winning, let's keep winning. Let's play for Econ. That was bad. That's your egg to hatch now. Another Greta. I was telling you it's gonna happen. Well, second Greta should just be... Oh shit, I cannot do it on glow scale. Well, whatever, then we do this. Double Greta. Yeah, I cannot do it on the glow skill because the glow skill is already golden. God damn it. I wonder how powerful Scabs is. <laughs> Better for economy, says. Proceeds to donkey roll. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I donkey rolled because I had bad shops. Let's hope we still win here. Oh my god. Dude, the guy perfectly set up for me. What the fuck? Disgusting. I'll beat him the second time. Hope he doesn't kill me. That'll be disappointing. That's fine for now. I'll give you a good price. She sells seashells. A shouted heart. Your girl. My favorite customer. Are you on the guest list? I'll do what I can. She sells seashells. That's your egg to hatch now. is going swimmingly. I was way stronger than him. He beat me only because of the positioning. 
the first time. I got way stronger now. It's our dub. And if we survive with all three of them, I win. I mean, I kill him. It's 24. I don't think he was sniping. He just played his higher up home really well. It's more like I just couldn't predict what he's gonna do, so I went into it not building accordingly. Finally a win. And it's interesting that I managed to win a game where I started as demons and then I pivoted to Naga because that's what the game gave me. So maybe that's how you have to play, I don't know. Maybe so far I was doing a poor job. And like adapting properly.